I'm Kaito Hasuda. I'm 30 years old. Today is my high school class reunion. Long time no see! What's going on, Kaito? What do you do these days? Well, I own my own business. I make 200,000 a year. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just a regular office worker, man. <laughs> I hear you, man. Man, it's been so long. I guess a lot of people are married now, too. Yeah, I got married, too. <laughs> what? You never told me. Yeah, I forgot. Who's that? She looks so much older than everyone else. Oh, uh, yeah. I went over and asked the same thing. Apparently, that's Meisame Jima. She got married pretty young, but she already divorced. That's Meisame Jima? Who could forget? She really embarrassed me in high school. Back then, she was one of the cutest girls in class. Um, Samejima san, I like you. Um, okay, so. That's it? No, um, will you. will you go out with me? Uh, go out with you and do what? Um, we can talk? And go out and stuff. <laughs> That's it. We can do that without being boyfriend and girlfriend, right? Well, um... I hate guys who aren't straight with me. Just say what you came here to say. I... I want to kiss you! <laughs> no way. What? She made me say all those things for nothing. She could have said no from the start. Bye. But that wasn't all. When I went back to class, she was telling everyone about me. Hey, listen, Hasuda just asked me out. He says he wants to kiss me. Uh, what? That's so gross. Who says that anyways? Unbelievable. Gross. I don't remember much about what happened after that. But time passed, and they eventually stopped talking about me. And my life went back to normal. Well, maybe not. I still remember. The rage. The humiliation I felt. Ah, oh, I remember now. You had some problems with her. Forget it, man. Everyone knows that she was the one being a bitch. Don't worry, man. Uh, really? Yeah, you realize things as you grow up. One day, you start to see things differently, you know? You realize how narrow-minded you were. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But ten years later, I bet you'll be saying the same thing about what you just said. <laughs> What? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, what are you talking about? Ah! Uh, me, Samijima! Long time no see, you remember me? Uh, yeah. Good to hear. I came here to see you, Hasada. What? This isn't good. Hey, Hasada. You're so handsome now. I still remember you asked me out back in high school. If you want, I'll be your girlfriend. Excuse me? Girlfriend? Um, what do you mean? Oh, wait, you've never had a girlfriend? Come on, you're in your 30s now. Wait, are you saying we should start dating? Yes, you know how it goes. You see your high school crush at a reunion and you fall in love. Give me a break. I mean, look at you. How am I supposed to fall in love with that? Seriously, take a good look at yourself. Think again. And even if you didn't look like that, I'd still say no. I'll never forget what you did to me. You're dead to me. Always have been, always will be. What? No, Asuna, don't say that. Wait, is she serious? She forgot what she did to him? She hasn't changed a bit. This is just sad. Wait, Kaito, is that a ring? You seeing someone? Wait, I've seen that ring. Sorry, I was talking to the principal. I'm back. Uh, hey, what's going on? I know, that ring. You guys have the same ring. Uh, well, yeah. When I was 25, I saw her again. It was work-related, and, well, we started dating, and we got married last year. <gasps> oh, for real? Congratulations! What? But she's 39! What's wrong with you? I... I don't understand! So what? 
I'm not surprised, though. You haven't changed a bit since high school. I don't expect you to understand anything. Hey, just let it go. It's fine. No, it's not fine. I can't just let people insult my wife. You're the most important person to me. Stop it. Everyone's looking at us. Huh? Oh, how sweet of you two! So cute! My classmates were really happy for both of us. The party was a lot of fun. After a while, I noticed Mei Samajima was gone. And I'll probably never see her again. Thank goodness. My name is Riku. Currently, both my legs won't move. Ow! Does that mean at least my nerves are still intact? But still, will I ever walk again? Riku, how are you? When are you going to get better? I don't know. Both my legs are severely burnt and fractured in multiple spots. I'm thankful that they didn't have to remove them, but... <sighs> I don't know what's gonna happen to me. This is my girlfriend, Mommy. She was here to visit today. <sighs> I should probably be happy, but I was so depressed that it was hard to even talk to her. If your legs don't get better, you said you might be in a wheelchair, right? You were caught in an explosion during work, so you'll be covered by your company's insurance, right? How much will you be receiving? Why do you always talk about money when you come here? I'm really not in the mood to talk about money right now. There was an explosion at the factory that I worked at. I was the only one close by and I got caught in the explosion. I was covered in scars and burns and I fell from a high place from the shock. And I was hurt very badly. My doctor told me that I was lucky to even have made it out alive. It's only been 10 days since the accident, and all Mommy talks about is money. Well, uh, you've been paying for everything since we started living together. I don't have a job yet, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to find one. What happens to me if you can't get back to work? Uh, how should I know? You're completely healthy, so hurry up and find a job. There's nothing I can do for you right now. I may sound harsh, but I'm the one who needs help right now. I'm the one who needs someone to lean on, not her. Fine. Good luck finding a job. I'm done with this. Now that I know that you're the type of person who won't think about me, we're done! I mean, I know you're having a hard time right now, but I have to survive too, you know. Oh, at least you get fed every day while you're here. I need money to feed myself. Hold on, look at me! I MAY NEVER WALK AGAIN! Good luck with rehab. Ugh, plus, you'll be able to live normally in a wheelchair, right? Everything is wheelchair-friendly these days. What the hell? I don't have time to worry about you either. <sighs> Goodbye! Damn! This is how I broke up with my girlfriend that I was dating for almost a year. But when one door shuts... Another door opens. There was a girl who reached out to me. Hey, Riku. I brought your clothes. Satsuki! Thank you so much! Everyone at work is worried. How's rehab coming along? It's tough, but I'm doing everything I can. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? This girl's name is Satsuki. She's a very kind co-worker. After I was dumped by my girlfriend, I had no one to reach out to. She volunteered to help me out. She pulled me out of despair and gave me strength to push on through hard times. Satsuki, I... I think one day, I'll be able to walk out of this wheelchair. What? Really? It might be a few years, but I'll try my best. So, when I'm able to walk on my own two feet, will you be my girlfriend? No, I can't. I can't wait that long. If you want to be my boyfriend, can we start right now? Um, yes! Please! The accident set off a chain of events that led me to Satsuki. It was hard and painful, but I was undoubtedly a happy man. One year passed since the accident. I was walking on my own again. My body healed much faster than expected, and I suffered barely any after effects. But I was so traumatized about what happened at the factory 
I couldn't return. So I made a bold decision to start my own company. I started an online business selling to overseas customers. I gradually increased my staff size and my business was growing as well. One day, I had an unexpected visitor. Hey Riku, long time no see. I'm glad you look so well. A year ago you said you might not walk again, so I was worried. That really was a possibility, you know. Oh, come on, don't be so overdramatic. Look at you, you're walking fine. And I heard that you quit the factory and became a business owner, right? Good job. So, what do you want to do? Are you ready to get back together? Huh? You probably don't have a girlfriend, right? I'll start over with you if you want. Um, if that's all, can you leave? My girlfriend's over right now. Huh? You said that you might not walk again, but you had time to make a girlfriend? Wait, so it was like perfect timing that I left you then? Huh? You make it sound like I was cheating on you or something. Who is it? Oh, Satsuki. Oh, is that your new girlfriend? Oh, how plain. She doesn't look like your type at all. <laughs> Hey, that's enough! You left saying that you didn't have time to worry about me during my darkest hours! Stay the hell out of my life! Well, that's because I was in trouble if you couldn't work also, but you made it sound like it was only your problem! You're the one at... fault? <gasps> Satsuki! <gasps> Leave. I won't be able to stop myself next time. Do you know what Riku had to go through to get where he is now? You deserve no sympathy from him! Mommy left crying, but I didn't feel any sympathy for her. It was Satsuki who was there for me when I had it the worst. I have no feelings left for Mommy, who just left me for dead. I heard later that Mommy got married to an entrepreneur. But she got divorced right away, and didn't have the money to survive on her own. And now, she lives her life running away from debt collectors. As for me, I got married to Satsuki, and now we have two children. We live a happy life to this day. If that accident never happened, I may have gotten married to Mommy. But it wouldn't have lasted. All she cares about is her own financial stability, and expects the man to provide it. People who think and live like that don't deserve to be loved by anyone. I'm Kaito. I live by myself. I hate talking to people. Needless to say, I'm not very popular with the ladies. Well, actually, there is an exception. They love me a whole lot. Hey, handsome. Wanna go out with me? <sighs> no thanks. Oh, come on! You've never been with a living human, have you? I can show you all kinds of stuff. Um, no thanks, really. Hey, he said no. Back off. Uh, what? Get out of here! Oh, she's so stubborn, even after death. Oh, how sad. Hey, what's your name? Why don't you come on over to this side? Hey, look who's talking! As you can see, I'm really popular with ghosts. I'm not sure why. My guess is, it's my sixth sense. I can see ghosts. So, they're probably just genuinely happy to meet someone who can see them. I can see them clear as day. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between ghosts and real people. I can also hear them. Sometimes, I realize I'm talking to a ghost in the middle of a conversation. Maybe that's why I'm not very good with people who are alive. These ghosts are all over me. Sometimes, I forget I'm a loser in real life. Uh-huh. Where'd they go? I got used to seeing ghosts. But when they suddenly disappear, I get nervous. Not because I'm afraid of being alone. The thing is... When this happens, it's usually because there's a stronger ghost nearby. Uh. 
You can see ghosts. She was really pretty, but something felt off. It was unlike anything I'd ever felt before. She felt different. She might not be like the other ghosts around here, but she seemed really friendly. I wasn't scared or anything. She's clearly not human either. And if she's not an evil spirit, then is she some kind of goddess or something? I'm so happy. I've never met anyone who can see ghosts. Ah, oh, I see. I'm Kaio. What's your name? Uh, Kaito. Kaito. Hey, can I go to your house, Kaito? Ah! I'm so happy that I met you, Kaito. I want to talk with you, please. I want to get to know you better. Um, don't try anything funny. Of course, I promise. Ah, uh, fine then. Ghosts ask me if they can come over to my house all the time. I know that trying to convince them otherwise is just a waste of time. I had no choice but to take Kaio's son home with me. Wow, what a nice room. It's pretty normal. The atmosphere in here is one of a kind. I knew you were special. I'm gonna live here from now on. Excuse me? Li live here? What do you mean? Huh? I'm gonna live here, that's all. Wait, no, no, no. You can't. You're pretty, uh, I get it, but I just can't let you live here. Did you just say I was pretty? Uh, yeah. How about this then? If you let me stay here, I'll wash your back when you take a shower. What? Wait, let me guess. You've never taken a shower with a girl. I've seen a lot of ghosts, but none of them followed me to the bathroom or the bathtub. Most ghosts can talk and we can see each other, so they all have boundaries. Ooh, I can stay in here. Come on, I'll make it worth your while. Hey, get out of there. Stop! Oh, sorry, but I'm really sleepy. I'm gonna take a nap. No way! And just like that, Kyo the ghost took over my closet. She stayed there for an entire week. I was kind of hoping that she'd gone after a while, but looks like she's here to stay. But she didn't bother me. All she did was watch TV and YouTube. <gasps> Look here! And sometimes we just talked. It was kind of nice. Maybe I'll just let her stay. And who knows what she might pull if I try to kick her out. I'm sure she'll get tired of it soon. And I don't think ghosts can stay in this world forever. I think their time here is limited anyways. Then, about two weeks later, one morning I stepped out of my house to go to work. Then Kayo, who always stayed in the closet, came running out. Kaito, your phone! Huh? Ah, oh, thanks! Wait, you can hold stuff? Uh, I thought... Huh? Uh, yeah, of course, <laughs> why not? Good morning! <gasps> oh, look here, what a cute girlfriend you got! Uh, hello there, good morning! Wait, you can see her? Huh? Uh, yeah. Wait, Kaio, are you alive? What on earth are you talking about? Oh, he's probably half asleep as usual. Um, Kaio-san, what's going on? Um, well, <laughs> I have a sixth sense too. I see ghosts all the time, but being mistaken for a ghost, that's never happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it was it was just too funny. I, I couldn't say anything. I'm sorry. You've got to be kidding me! Turns out, Kaio-san was a real person! For the past two weeks, I thought she was a ghost! She probably seemed off because of her sixth sense. Wait, so what about food, baths, bathroom, work? All taken care of. I work from home so I can work anywhere. Don't worry, I have money. I'll pay you rent. But wait, 
if you're not a ghost, made you want to live in my place. Uh, well, you can see ghosts too, so I don't know. It just felt comfortable, I guess. And I feel comfortable around you. I make the same mistake all the time too, you know. Huh? You mean sometimes you can't tell if someone's a ghost or not? Yeah, happens all the time. Just the other day, I saw someone and thought he was alive, but I was wrong. By the way, that landlord lady we just saw, she was a ghost. You know that, right? What? It's pretty hard to fit in when you have a sixth sense. But since Kaya was like me, I got along with her pretty well. Ever since I found out she was human, I started to enjoy spending time with her. I look forward to getting to know her better. That's a human. Mm, don't be so sure. Every time we go out, we talk about whether someone is a ghost or not. I can't do that with anyone else. She's one of a kind, that's for sure. My name is Tsukasa. Today I'm attending my brother Daisuke's wedding with his wife Erika. I was too busy to attend my friend's wedding, so it's my first time. I'm so excited! Hey, what about your own wedding? That's different. I was so busy and nervous that day. I didn't have any time to relax and just enjoy the show, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's enjoy this one then. Wow, this place is gorgeous. I bet many Benjamins were sacrificed for this. If that's your way of being subtle, you're failing. Well, it was pretty expensive, but this place is also really popular, so I heard that it's hard to get a reservation. But my brother's girlfriend wouldn't compromise. You said you were fine with a simple wedding, but is it a girl thing to want to do something elaborate? Well, it depends on the person, I guess. But the wedding isn't the goal line, right? I couldn't imagine spending that much money right as we were starting our marriage. Also, I heard that couples who hold elaborate weddings have a high chance of divorce. Hey, don't jinx the wedding! But I kind of get what she says, too. I heard Daisuke's duked it out with his girlfriend quite a bit during the preparations. That can't be a good sign. Soon enough, Daisuke and Miyuki's wedding began. May I please ask all guests to stand? It's my first time meeting Miyuki. But she's so beautiful. Yeah, I heard she used to be a model back in college. My brother told me how hard he had to try to get her to like him. Yeah? I didn't know Daisuke was a sucker for pretty faces. Both of us are. Huh? I'm not that pretty. Uh, I chose you. Of course you're pretty. Huh? Mm. Your reactions are so cute too. My wife quieted down, and the time came for them to exchange their vows. Repeat after me. Wait! Stop the wedding! Huh? Wait! Is this what I think it is? What? Does that mean she's... having an affair with my brother? No, wait. The bride is the one who looks nervous. You're right. Daisuke just looks confused. You shouldn't marry that woman! No! You must not marry her! Hey! Disturbing a marriage like this is criminal! I can sue you for this! Who's that? That's Miyuki's father. Who are you? I'm the wife of the man that that woman is having an affair with. Huh? Come again? She isn't here to steal my brother, she's here to warn him? That woman was having an affair with my husband, and their relationship is ongoing. I strongly advise you to cancel this marriage. Are you serious? You were trying to marry me while you were having an affair? Uh, no! It's over between us. Wait, so it's true that you were having an affair then? With a married man? That's unbelievable! That means you were cheating on me, right? No! That woman! She's crazy! Don't believe anything she says! You said something about suing me, but... I'm prepared to take you to court for the affair as well. So I guess I'll see you in court then. No! I didn't know he was married! 
I was fooled! So you admit to cheating on me then? Ah, uh, I was forced into the relationship. Why wouldn't you tell me about it then? That doesn't sound like something you should hide from me. If that were the case. Were you fine with maintaining the relationship then? Daisuke, please, trust me. It's our wedding. Well, it seems like we'll have to settle this in court then. If what you say is true, you should sue that man. And if it's a lie, then I should sue you. And it seems like that woman is suing you, Miyuki. Um, what about your vows? I won't proceed. No, I... I can't proceed. No! <laughs> uh, what happens now? I think this wedding's cancelled. As expected, the wedding was cancelled. I was worried about my parents, so I went over to the resting room with Erica. And we ran into Miyuki being questioned by her parents. You're an embarrassment to the family! Do you know how many people came here today to celebrate for you? Some of those men were my associates, too! I'm sorry! But I wasn't planning on seeing him after I got married! You expect me to believe that? I'm disowning you. Mom, help! You understand? Don't you? What is there to understand? All I can understand is that woman's feelings and how sad Daisuke must be right now. Daisuke, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I knew she was contacting someone for a while now. I just wanted to trust her. I tried to let it go, but... <laughs> never expected this. I'm really embarrassed about everything, but thanks to that lady, I was saved in the nick of time. Um, I'm not sure what to say to you, but I know that you'll be able to find someone great, Daisuke. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you both. I heard they got a lawyer involved and settled things outside of court after that. Daisuke received alimony from Miyuki, and that lady who barged in received alimony from Miyuki and her husband, and got divorced. Daisuke made sure that she didn't get into trouble for ruining the wedding. I heard Daisuke is going to matchmaking parties. I'm glad he didn't lose all hope of getting married after that incident. Yeah, you're right. Let's pray for him together. That he finds someone cute, nice, and beautiful. Like you, Erica. Huh? Oh, shut up! I'm really worried about him! Ah, <sighs> so am I. <laughs> Two years later, Daisuke really found someone cute, nice, and beautiful. Like Erica! And got married, and they lived happily ever after. The end. My name is Tsukasa. I'm just an ordinary high school student. I've always been smart and fast at running, but I've never been popular with the girls. It was the bad boys who were popular. Those guys who say they hate school, but stand out in after-school activities. School sucks! I know, let's skip class and go hang out. Man, I wish I had it in me to be a nerd, like Tsukasa. I bet he's gonna have no problem working his ass off in an exploitive company in the future. Knows. Maybe he'll be able to work his way up. Yeah, either way though, he'll probably be a hard worker. This guy who always makes fun of me is Daisuke. He's the handsome guy in class that all the girls like. Unlike me, he's outgoing and capable of taking action. He doesn't study much, but he's been on the basketball team since freshman year, and he's the captain now. He's like the main character of a movie, but he always picks on me. He's so popular. I don't see any reason why he has to pick on me. One day, Daisuke got me involved in something ridiculous. Hey, Tsukasa! Do you ever read fashion magazines? Uh, no. Why? Didn't expect you to. You're so lame! Why had to be blunt about it? They're having an audition for fashion models for this magazine. So, I applied for both of us. The preliminaries is just a screening. We'll get the results in about four weeks. 
I'm excited to see how this goes. But what are you doing? Shouldn't you ask me first before doing such a thing? Yeah, that's why I'm telling you right now. What the hell, man? Why would you send in my papers without asking me? Just out of curiosity, I want to see how easily you could pass the screening. It's just an experiment. So, basically, he's saying that someone like me couldn't even pass the screening. And that his looks are so much better than mine. Well, good luck, man. You're gonna need it. Maybe the overall level of applicants is so low that you'll be able to pass. Arrgh! Yeah, right. I don't know about him, but someone like me is going to be screwed for sure. That's what I thought. Three weeks later, I received an unexpected letter telling me that I passed. What? I didn't think that addition was going to be that easy. I guess you pretty much made it to the finals then. <laughs> I'm feeling optimistic already thanks to you. Well, let's go to the main competition together then. You better not run. Shut up. He's so inconsiderate. I never said that I wanted to go with him. If I back down now, he's just gonna make fun of me in front of everyone for it. Hey sis, can I ask you a favor? Huh? What do you want? My classmate made me apply for a fashion model competition, and I passed the screening. I was wondering if you could help me fix myself up for the main competition. Oh, seriously? Which magazine? Uh, Sekai Men magazine or something. What? Sakai men? You passed their screening? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Is it a famous magazine? <laughs> Sukasa, I am honored that Sakai men has noticed your potential. Sis? <laughs> Leave this up to me. I'll help you bloom into the model you were born to be. Uh, thanks. But it's just the beginning stages of the main competition. I have a long way to go before they actually choose me to be one of their models. Oh, don't be so pessimistic. Be confident. Look in the mirror every day and chant, I am handsome. Uh, no thanks. My sister is going to school to become a hairstylist. She's not a professional yet, but she's poured her heart into producing me to be as handsome as possible. The day of the main competition. All right. Next participant number, 468, Sukasa. please step forward. Yes, sir. Number 468, my name is Sukasa. Nice to meet you, sir. I didn't plan to pursue a career in modeling, but I want to give it my all. And I was more confident than ever thanks to my sister. One month later. What the hell, man? How is it that I failed and you got accepted? Don't ask me. They never gave me a reason why I failed. Did they tell you why you were accepted? Yeah, supposedly, the idol who was scoring us put in a good word for me. What? What are you talking about? That super popular model you're on? She pushed for you? It's something like, I liked how seriously you were taking this. And I enjoyed how you weren't so full of yourself. <laughs> hey, Sukasa, are you going to the finals? No. I think I'm going to turn down the offer. I have college entrance exams on that same day. Oh, I see. Oh, it seems like such a waste, but I know how hard you were studying for college, too, so it can't be helped, I guess. Yeah, you never cease to impress me, Sukasa. Even with Daisuke on your case all the time, you persevered and pushed past all that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, but you take everything too seriously, Sukasa. What about enjoying life a little bit more? I feel bad for your future girlfriend. I'd be a more flexible boyfriend, you know? Uh, no way. There's nothing wrong about being a serious adult, right? I'd go out with you, Sukasa. Uh, yeah, me too. Any girl who takes their future seriously would want to be with someone like Sukasa. I never understood why Daisuke picked on me so much. But now, I do. He didn't want to lose to me. <sighs> I don't think you can grow while you're trying to compare yourself with the people around you. It's important to realize that by doing so, you've already lost. My name is Riku. I turned 21 today. And... 
This calm girl in front of me is Rin. She's a childhood friend of mine. Rin turned 21 yesterday. Hmm, is it past the time that you were born? I don't know the exact time, but I've been told I was born right past midnight, so I'm pretty sure I'm 21 now. Okay then, so we're both 21. It's no longer illegal for us to drink alcohol, right? Yeah, I think so. What do you mean you think so? Uh, no, it's nothing. We were both born in the same hospital and were raised in the same neighborhood. We've been like brother and sister since we were little and know everything about each other. And we made a pact to drink together when we turned 21. Well, Rin made me promise that. It's so like her to have to be sure that I'm fully 21. But you're sure you want me to be the first person you drink with? Oh, come on, think about it. We're about to ingest an unknown substance. Who knows what could happen to us? I need someone I can trust by my side at times like this. I need to practice before I go out into the real world and drink with other people. But your parents are heavyweights, right? Well, I have to be sure that I've taken on after them. From what I hear, my grandparents weren't heavy drinkers, so... I see. You should be worried about yourself, though. Your parents don't drink much, do they? Hmm... Yeah, I've never seen them out of control. I have a feeling that I'll be fine. Well, whatever. If anything happens to you, I got your back. I think I'll be okay. Ready? Yeah. Happy 21st, Riku! Cheers! You too! Cheers! And so, we had, we had our, our first drinks together. The drinks were cold, but our bodies became warmer. We were enjoying the mysterious effects of alcoholic drinks entering our bodies as we held normal conversation. However, Rin started to change after she finished drinking her first can of beer. Oh, Riku, I'm getting sleepy. <sighs> Me too, kinda. Riku, come over here. Sit next to me. Uh-huh. Like this? Yeah, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> You're acting like a cat, Ren. <laughs> Meow. What the? She's usually so calm and centered. She would never impersonate a cat. Like, ever. But did she just meow at me? If you're sleepy, I'll go home. Why don't you go to bed now? No, no, I don't want to sleep yet. I don't want you to go home, Riku. You're so touchy-feely. Is this how you get when you're drunk, Rin? <laughs> no, no, it's not like I want to be like this to everyone. I just want to be close to you, Riku. Oh, crap. My heart is going to explode. She's always been like a sister to me. I never expected anything like this. Riku, stay with me. <laughs> well, well, Rin, I think I better leave soon. This doesn't seem to be heading in the right direction. No. Well, it's not like I can sleep with you, you know? Why not? Well, you know. No, I don't. What do you mean? I mean, it won't end there. I'm okay with that. I want to make out with you in bed. <gasps> no, no, no! That's something a couple's do! You're way too drunk right now! Fine, then, then be my boyfriend! I can't hold back my feelings for you, Riku! No! This isn't something we should be discussing when you're drunk! I'm not drunk! Everyone who's drunk says that! It's so cliché! Oh, I'm serious, see? Do you feel that? My heart is pounding, can't you tell I'm serious? Uh, Rin... I definitely feel something, but that's your right side! I think I'm ready to have your baby, Riku. Whoa. Let's take things one step at a time. All right. First we can go out, then get married, then have children, all right? <sighs> all right. All right. Oh, man. I don't know how much longer I can hold myself back. All right. Now that we're a couple, you want to make out? Oh, we've come around full circle, haven't we? I didn't think Rin would get drunk and be like this. But I did agree to be your boyfriend. So 
Does that mean I'm allowed to? Uh, uh, are you sure? <laughs> Rin. <sighs> How expected. Another typical drunk move. I put Rin to bed and said goodbye to her parents before heading home. The next morning, once again, an unexpected phone call. What? You don't remember anything from last night. Yeah, I got so sleepy. Oh, did I do anything weird? Uh, kind of. What? What did I do? Uh, I don't think you should drink with anyone but me. Uh, you start saying terrible things about your friends when you're drunk. Huh? Really? Yeah. So, promise me that you won't drink with anyone else. Okay, uh, is it okay to drink with you, though? Yeah. I had to lie. But I didn't want anyone else to see Rin like that. But it would be nice if she was being honest with me last night. But I know better than to trust everything a drunk person says. I better sit down to have another talk with her and get to the bottom of this. Oh, I was so embarrassed and pretended like I don't remember. But he told me I can only drink with him. I'm so happy. My name is Kaito. I can't remember the last time I did anything besides work. <sighs> but one day I finally get home before the last train, and it's packed. It almost makes me regret leaving the office on time. Hey, are you okay? Here, hold on to me. Oh, thanks. This is kind of embarrassing, though. It's like we're hugging in public. Yup, hug me tightly. <laughs> I want to go home and hug you. <laughs> <laughs> Learning in public, huh? They're completely in their own world. I can't remember how long it's been since I was in love like that. I was almost turning 30 and was in a decent position in my company. But a lot of responsibilities came with that commitment. On top of that, all the good workers were always put on my seniors groups. And I was left with all the new employees. I had to teach them as we went forward with the projects and had to cover for them. So I was always working twice as hard as everyone else. Honestly, things would be smoother if I just did everything myself. But... It's also part of my job to teach the new employees. Eventually, I was working day and night and even on weekends. I was thinking about work all day. Besides that, all I did was eat, sleep, go to the bathroom, and shower. <sighs> I wish I could be in love too. But in my situation, that's impossible. <sighs> I want to have butterflies fluttering my stomach too. Suddenly, I had the urge to switch things up, so I went to the bookstore to buy a novel and brought it with me to a fancy coffee shop. Wow, this is new. I'm getting nervous already. Man, only if I could do this all the time. But I guess it's not a good idea to do something out of the ordinary. I was struggling to stay awake after 10 minutes of reading. Damn. This peaceful atmosphere combined with written words is killing me. I barely read anything and I'm so sleepy already. Oh, darn! Oh, are you okay, sir? Uh, sorry. I was spacing out. I've noticed that you look quite tired. Oh, your suit, it's wet! I'll be okay. Sorry about the seat and floor. Ah, uh, this was a bad idea. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, I guess this is God's way of telling me to just stick to work. And that I have no place in a fancy place like this. The coffee spilled because of your lack of attention from being too tired. God would never tell you just to work. <laughs> you're probably right. Oh, I can't just stand by. Let me take care of you. Huh? Do you have a girlfriend? If not, I'll be your girlfriend. Huh? What? That's just so sudden! My shift is almost over, so wait here for me. I'll come home with you. Hey! Aren't you still a minor? I'm 18, and I've already graduated high school. Yeah, but you're still a minor. I'm almost 30. I 
too young to be my girlfriend or come home with me. Your parents wouldn't approve either. You, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Wait, she looked really sad for a moment. Hey girl, leave that old man alone and come over here. Did he just call me an old man? What? You can't say something like that to an old man you just met. Are you looking for somewhere to sleep? No. I see, you just want a boyfriend, right? I know how it is. Sometimes I'm in the mood where I don't care actually who it is. I'm in that mood right now, actually. I'm sorry, I I'm not interested in you. Huh? Why? Are you one of those girls who loves their father? Or have, like, an old man fetish? Either way, are you one of those creepy girls? Yes, I love my father, so what? Huh? The way you just put it, you make it sound like loving your own father is a bad thing, but what's wrong with that? Does that harm you in any way? Uh, well... You say you don't care who it is, but you reject girls who love their fathers, huh? Who's the creep? The young kid ran away after being told off by the girl. She went back to work after that. But 15 minutes later, she came back to my seat in her normal clothes. Shall we? This girl... Is she serious? Um... What do you plan to do at my house? Well, first I'm going to cook for you, then I'll clean your room because I'm sure your room is a mess. Well, she's right about that. But I still don't think it's okay to come over without telling your parents first. Let's at least get their permission. Uh... My parents are gone. Uh-huh. My mother passed away shortly after I was born, and my father raised me. But he passed away a year ago, too, from overwork. Overwork? Yes. I remember my father. He always had the same look as you. I see. So I'm reminding you of your father, huh? No wonder she was so offended when that guy mentioned her father. <laughs> Maybe. That might be part of it, but the biggest reason is because your face is my type. I just couldn't stand by after seeing you. The thought of what could have happened if something happened to you without me saying anything. It would have haunted me. Oh, is this not enough reason to like you? When she stared into my eyes with that serious look, I couldn't reject her. Her name was Yuri. I promised myself that I would stick to parental responsibilities until she was 20. Yuri seemed disappointed, but I didn't feel right putting my hands on a girl in her teens. After living with Yuri, I started thinking about a lot of things besides just work. I stopped working overtime because I didn't want her to be lonely at the home. And for some odd reason, my junior employees started working much harder and making less mistakes. It seemed as if they were covering up the space that I opened. My current peaceful life is all thanks to Yuri. After a while, I couldn't wait for Yuri to turn 20. Yuri, happy 20th birthday. I got you something that you've been asking for. Huh? This isn't that game I asked you for, is it? Open it up and see for yourself. If Yuri didn't approach me that day, I may not be alive. And even if I was, my world would not have been as vibrant and lovely. I'm Riku. I was out drinking with my colleagues. On the way home, I picked up a wallet I found on the street. Then, a Yakuza member started harassing me. You! That's my wallet! You were trying to steal it, weren't you? What? No, no! I found it, so I picked it up. I was gonna report it. You're saying I dropped my wallet? No. Wallets don't just fall out like that. You pulled it out of my pocket, didn't you? No, I'm telling you! And look, I'm missing some bills! Show me your wallet now! Oh, this is just great. I should have left it on the ground. Oh. What's going on here? Shit. Officer! This guy tried to steal my wallet! No, I didn't! It was on the ground, so I picked it up! That's it! Huh, I see. Listen, we shouldn't be doing this here. 
Why don't you guys come down to the station and we can talk there? What? We don't have time for that! You useless piece of crap! You have terrible aim. And if I didn't catch that, you'd be charged with assault. You realize that, right? You should be thanking me. Uh, phew! <laughs> you, uh, you all right there? Oh, wow. She seems like a completely different person. She's so pretty. <laughs> Are you all right? Can you get home? Um, actually, no. You stole my heart. Can I arrest you for that? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> You're not a police officer. Nice try, though. It was love at first sight. But she dumped me within seconds. But I didn't want to give up. Soon enough, I got another shot at her. Uh, I wonder what she's up to now. Hey! That's mine! That's my bag! Give it back! Ah! Got him! Thank you! Wait! You're that officer from yesterday! Huh? Ah, uh, right! From yesterday! You helped me out again! Thank you so much! Can I take you out to dinner or something? Is there any place you want to go? No thanks. This is my job. There's no need to thank me. But I want to show my gratitude. I have to do something. <laughs> no need. Just pay your taxes. That's how we get paid. And so, I got a second shot at her. I messed it up again, but luck was still on my side. A few days later, I got robbed again. What? Again? Believe it or not, the same officer ended up helping me. We've been on the lookout for him. He's a regular around here. I saw you walking around, so I knew he'd strike. Um, am I that easy of a target? Not sure why, but it sure looks that way. Everywhere you go, something bad happens. It's weird. Really? Do you think it's some kind of superpower? I don't know, but you're one unlucky person. I've never seen anything like this. What? No! I'm one of the luckiest guys around. Thanks to them, this is my third time running into you. I'm so happy to see you again. Hey, will you marry me? You're not being robbed on purpose, are you? No! I want to be your husband! I wouldn't do that, I swear! <sighs> but what is it about you that attracts criminals? Maybe you do have some kind of special ability. You really want to go out with me? Fine. But I need to do a background check on you first. It's a rule. Really? Yes, please! That means I can go out with you. Go right ahead! You can even do a cavity search if you want. Um... <laughs> No thanks. It was hard to believe, but I got robbed three times within weeks and ended up going out with a police officer I fell in love with at first sight. Huh, background seems okay. I guess it's just a coincidence. Her name was Ellie. The background check came clean and we're a real couple now. But the thing is, whenever I go out on a date with her, she ends up catching shoplifters and voyeurs. One time, I finally got her into a hotel with me, but she ran into a wanted criminal in the lobby. Needless to say, the date was canceled. I was sick of having my dates interrupted by criminals. Soon, we started spending more time at home. Hey Riku, let's go out. No way. We'll just run into another criminal, and you'll have to run back to the station. Oh, Riku. <laughs> thanks to you, I've been catching so many criminals. I'm gonna get a promotion soon. <laughs> it's all thanks to you. Oh, you know I love you, right? Oh, stop it! You just like me because I help you catch criminals. No, I love you as a person, the same way you love me. I don't believe you. Hey, you're saying you don't trust me? Don't make me arrest you now. Show me the warrant, otherwise get out! Quiet, you. Caught you red-handed. What the? A, a ring? Let's get married. Ever since I met you, I'm having a lot of fun. You make me laugh, and you help me catch criminals, too. Let's just make one thing clear. I'm the one that fell in love with you first. Remember? Of course I do. What was it you said? Oh, right. You stole my heart away, right? Uh, stop! Stop! After going out for three years, 
we got married. But on the day of the wedding, Ellie saw a suspicious man entering another couple's venue. Her colleagues questioned the man. Turns out, he was a wanted criminal. Even on my wedding day, I was helping her catch criminals. Riku, great work. I didn't do anything. And one of your colleagues came up to me and said the same thing. Ugh. It's a compliment, no worries. I don't buy it. I'm still not sure why he attracts so many criminals. But one thing is for sure, he needs me to protect him. Don't worry, dear. I'll always be next to you. My name is Koki Shimoda. I work at an exploitative company sacrificing my sleep and overall well-being. I have plenty in my savings because I have no time to spend any money. But I feel like I'm in heavy debt as far as sleep is concerned. I can almost feel my soul trying to run away from me as I drag myself home. Ah, finally. My day off work. I can finally sleep. <laughs> Last weekend, it was six in the afternoon when I woke up. My life is just work and sleep. Man, only if I woke up to find myself in a different world as a president of some company here with a beautiful wife. That would be nice. Whoa! It was so sudden. Huh? What just happened? My head! It's burning and my body... It won't move. Help! No! Wait! I lost consciousness. I had no idea what happened to me. I didn't know what condition my body was in. I just went into a deep sleep. Huh? Where am I? This isn't my home. Is it? Koki? Uh, I mean, Mr. Shimoda. Do you know where you are? Huh? A nurse? That means... I'm in a hospital? Uh, yes. What... A am I doing here? <gasps> you were in a hit-and-run accident by a bicycle two nights ago and hit your head. Here, let me get the doctor. I'll have him explain your injuries to you. Two nights ago? Hit-and-run? A bike? My doctor arrived after a while and explained to me that I had a head injury which required three stitches and told me I was going to have to stay for a while. Wait, that means I'll have to miss work, right? Oh no, I bet they're going to fire me. Exactly as I suspected, the next day my company called and pretty much told me that they didn't need me anymore. They said they couldn't legally fire me without consent, but that pretty much implied I was useless to them and that I should quit. Just my luck. I dedicated all my time to that exploitative company and was pretty much a step away from dying from overwork. Then I get hit by a bike and pretty much fired. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this? Uh, hey! Koki, are you alright? Huh? What? Your eyes were tripping out. Are you okay? What's wrong? Uh, did you just call me by my first name? Oh, uh... I'm sorry. I, I should be calling you Mr. Shimoda during work, but when I saw you, I, I just slipped. Miss Pseudo, right? Uh, I'm sorry to ask, but have we met before? Oh, my maiden name is Hikita. Erika Hikita. I was in your class in 8th grade, but uh, maybe you don't remember me. Wait. Did you say Hikita? Oh, you do remember me? The nurse who was caring for me was my classmate in middle school. And... She was my first love. Do you want to talk about it? It's an important part of my job to mentally support our patients as well. Well, uh... I guess the whole world just came crashing down on me. My company pretty much abandoned me for getting injured at a crucial time of the year. I can't believe I'm telling my first love how pathetic I am. Wait, that sounds like you should sue them. I was so exhausted from working there, I didn't have it in me to fight them. But I have money saved up, so I, I should be just fine. Maybe it was God's way of telling you to take some time off. Oh, Erika Hikita. She's just as nice and pretty as before. I'll be back again, alright? Wait, no, she's not Hikita anymore. That must mean she's married. On top of everything, I find out that my first love is married. 
<laughs> Just my luck. But I was wrong. <sighs> I'm going to let you in on a secret. I'm divorced, and I have a four-year-old boy. The man I married wouldn't help me out around the house at all, and he was always nagging at me. Huh? He used to tell me how housework was the woman's job, even though I made more money than him. I can't believe I didn't realize how much of a jerk he was before we got married. After listening to Erica, my love for her was reignited. I didn't have a job to go back to, and I didn't want to be a burden. I didn't want to miss this chance. So, I told her how she was my first love back in middle school. Oh, but, but I'm, I'm not the same person anymore. I'm divorced, and I, I even have a child now. I understand. I, I know this isn't something you can decide on your own, and I need your son's approval as well. But I want you to give me a chance. Please, let me take you and your son out on a date. Well, if you're even thinking about my son, I have no reason to say no. After a while, I was released from the hospital and went to my company to quit my job. I started taking Erica and her son Fumito out on dates. I became good friends with Fumito as well and started watching over him and helping out around the house while Erica went to work. I'm home! Oh, thank you, Koki! Welcome back! I prepared dinner for us! Koki's meatloaf is the best! <laughs> You're such a big help, Koki. <laughs> Let's get married. I'll work and you can be a stay-at-home dad until you're fully recovered mentally and physically. Sure. Uh, really? I'd love to. Does that mean I get to call you dad, Koki? That's right. Yay! Dad, I want fried chicken tomorrow. <laughs> you catch on quick, Fumito. I've come such a long way in one year. I had to lose everything to get everything I wanted in life. I'm so happy now. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.